Hi, I'm Dr. Abe. I'm an MD and cannabis health coach, and I'm here to answer your questions and tell you what you need to know about THCP. THCP is one of the newest, hottest, and most potent cannabinoids in the hemp space. Definitely one you need to be careful with. THCP, or tetrahydrocannabiferol, is a fancy name for a THC molecule that has seven carbons on its tail. The regular Delta-9 THC that you find in cannabis only has a five carbon tail. But this simple two carbon difference makes a world of a difference in terms of effects. Basically, if you think of THC as a hammer, then THCP is more like using a sledgehammer to do the same job. THCP is naturally found in minute traces, about 1400 times rarer than THC in the same plant. That's why now we have lab-made or semi-synthetic THCP on the market today. Manufacturers can take the CBD from hemp and use it to make THCP vapes, edibles, and more. We know that THCP behaves like the THC in cannabis, but THCP hasn't been studied in humans yet, so we haven't confirmed any benefits just yet. What we've learned from basic studies is that it does act at the same receptors as THC, but it binds much stronger to both of our cannabinoid receptors. This means that they probably hold similar benefits, but at smaller doses with THCP. This opens up the possibility for THCP to help with things like chronic pain, muscle spasms, nausea, and sleep. Depending on how much THCP you take, it will probably feel like taking a strong, concentrated dose of THC. It'll be more intense than taking the same hits of a cannabis vape cartridge or edible. You should be well prepared to feel even more impaired or intoxicated than you'd expect from cannabis. So find a comfortable spot on the couch and a movie and get ready to order some pizza, because it could be a while until it wears off. Inhaled THCP can last for an hour or two, and if you eat THCP, you could be in for quite a ride over the next six hours or more. Yes, very high. The reason you need to be so careful with THCP is because it will make you feel noticeably higher at even a smaller dose than cannabis. The first paper on THCP in 2019 estimates that it takes about half the dose of THCP to get the same effects from natural THC in cannabis. Along with this mood boost, you may notice yourself feeling more hungry or tired. The high of THCP could last longer too, since it tends to not only bind stronger, but also not let go as quickly as the THC from cannabis. My favorite phrase from medical school is, the dose makes the medicine and the poison. Small amounts of THCP, like in the range of five milligrams or less, are probably gonna feel like taking a 10 milligram THC edible based on what we've observed in animal studies. Microdosing THCP like this may be as relatively safe as with taking THC, but larger doses than this should only be approached by people with experience or avoided altogether. Right now, there aren't any human studies to demonstrate the safety of THCP, so use with extreme caution if you're going to experiment with it. People with known psychiatric problems or at risk for those should stay away from THCP until we learn more. Like THC from cannabis, THCP is not safe in children, pregnancy, breastfeeding, or when driving or going to work. One thing that's different about THCP than the THC in cannabis is that it tends to fully activate our cannabinoid receptors rather than the gentle partial activation caused by regular THC. This increases the possibility of both physical and psychiatric side effects. Physically, you may have a fast heart rate, dry mouth, dry and red eyes, and dizziness. It's easy to take too much THCP that could lead to temporary but uncomfortable side effects like anxiety, panic, agitation, confusion, or vomiting. Based on what we know about the THC from cannabis, THCP could interact with many common medications by increasing their levels. Most importantly, it could interact with anti-seizure drugs. 
It could also increase the levels of blood thinners, beta blockers, antidepressants, anti-anxiety meds, antipsychotics, steroids, or even more that we don't know about. If you're taking these meds or have any health concerns, you should ask your doctor first before taking THCP. Keep in mind that it can also increase the level of alcohol and other drugs that can make you sleepy or tired, so it shouldn't be combined with those kinds of substances. At this point, THCP is best reserved for advanced or experienced cannabis consumers. It should not be used by beginners who could easily overdo it and have a negative experience. If you've been using cannabis for a while, have a high tolerance, fast metabolism, or you just want to experiment with something new, then nowadays you have the right to try THCP for yourself. Just know that it's still highly experimental and we don't fully understand all the short or long-term risks and benefits involved with it. If you've used THCP, let us know about your experience in the comments. Or if you have any questions about THCP, write them in the comments section and I'll try to answer them or point you in the right direction. For more information on THCP, visit the link in the description.